Hello everybody, my name is Retroboy03, and welcome back to another Tomy Sonic the Hedgehog plush review, where today we'll be taking a look at the Tomy Sonic the Hedgehog 25th Anniversary Classic Tales plush. It originally retailed for around $15 in the US, although more recently it's actually been going for a lot closer to 70 or 80 on the aftermarket since this plush is no longer in production. So, um, so without further ado, let's just get into it, and let it be noted that I will not be comparing this plush to the later released Tomy Collector Series Tales plushes, seeing as how this guy came first, it seems kind of unfair to do that in a review. However, after I post this video, I will be posting a video where I do directly compare those two plushes, so if that, so if you want to see that, then stay tuned. But this is just a review of this plush with no outside influence, aside from how it looks with the other 25th anniversary plushes released at the time. So, to start off with Tails, um, I guess we'll start with the face, which looks pretty nice. The eyes are nicely embroidered, and I like that he has two shines as opposed to the one shine in Sonic and Knuckles' eyes. I also like how the... How Tails is, how the edges of Tails' eyes are embroidered. I think that's a nice detail, although it wasn't seen on Sonic or Knuckles. I do think it makes sense to have it on Tails, since... I mean, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. It just I feels though it only would have worked on Tails, so I'm glad they only did it on Tails. Tails has sort of a simple smile on his face, but it looks nice. Tails' nose is a bit off. It's um, it's the same style of nose they used for Sonic and Knuckles, and I don't know, it sticks out too far, and I think it would have looked better as a plastic piece. Tails' cheek tufts are nicely cut, although unfortunately on this side, the way it was put into the bag it was shipped in, these, che these cheek tufts are a little bit folded over. Um, Tails' bangs are, are pretty nice. They're this... Nice orange felt material with just some embroidery on it, although I wish that maybe these the edges would have been a bit more pointed. I don't know. Tails' ears are pretty nice. I like the little black line sewn in there to give it a bit of detail. But, but I don't know. The ears look a little bit understuffed. I, I wish that there had been a bit more stuffing in there. I'm going down to Tails' body... His stomach also seems almost seems a little overstuffed. I don't know, like just like on my Sonic, the stomach is stuffed to the point where like the the stitching forms sort of a point where and you can see. So that's a bit odd, but he looks per but it still looks pretty nice and his chest tufts are done the same way as his cheek tufts but shorter. Tails' arms and legs are pretty nice, although they are pretty floppy. Although I guess that's good since it makes it easier for, easier to sort of ha move this guy around and have him sit sit and stuff. Although, like the other 25th anniversary plushes, he's not very good at sitting without a backrest, which is sort of sad since I was sort of hoping that his tails might help with that, but they don't. Tails' hands are nicely embroidered with the fingers, and Tails' shoes are also pretty nice. Though I w really wish there that there was a lot less of this blue down here. It should really be a thin stripe, but unfortunately with the way the socks were sewn, that shows up a lot more than it really should. But that's probably just a problem on mine. Um, the, the Tush tag is the same as all of the 25th anniversary plushes, and the paper tag, and I'm just taking a look at this now, even though we're not done with the plush. I don't know why, but the paper tag is the same on the outside, just with tails. But the inside has a nice piece of tails artwork, which shows classic tails just... Well, it, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Just a nice piece of old Japanese artwork. Where I think it's a bit odd, because the plush, as you can see, is clearly yellow, while the... Artwork, as well as just Classic Tales in general, is depicted as orange. So I'm not entirely sure why ta Classic Tales here is yellow. It probably has something to do with his appearance in Sonic Generations. I don't know. I do wish that this plush had been orange, but he still looks fine in the in the nice metallic yellow. And oh yeah, I haven't mentioned it th even mentioned it that yet. But um, yeah, all 
nearly everything on this plush is done with a very high quality crushed velvet material, which looks very nice, but interestingly, there are actually a lot of parts of this plush that use other materials, such as Tails' cheek tufts, his bangs, and his socks, so... I mean, while all, through, all of the 25th anniversary plushes have some areas that don't use this material, it's a bit more noticeable on Tails, because he has several spots that, that are non-metallic, which looks a bit odd, but it's still good. From the back, Tails looks nice, but... I don't know, his tails do seem a bit small, like, they're definitely serviceable, but I do wish they were bigger, because they do look a li definitely kind of small here, but they still look very nice with the stitching and the embroidery around the edges to divide between the yellow and white. So yeah, not much more to say on this guy. It's tails. Although, now let me go get Sonic and Knuckles so I can show you how the main 25th anniversary trio looks like all together. I don't have Eggman, although I hope to get him someday, but let me just go grab Sonic and Knuckles. So here we have the classic 25th anniversary trio, and I think these guys look pretty nice together. In fact, I think ta some of Tails' is what I had previously said were issues actually help him to fit in with Sonic and Knuckles here, because just like the other two guys, the Tails isn't perfect. None of these are. They're all really Tomy's first attempt at making classic-styled Sonic plushes, and they all have some issues. They all have some stuff that makes them look weird, but I think that they all look really nice together. But, so yeah, I think that it's mainly with Sonic. I feel as though just Tails and Knuckles might not look the best together, but I think that Sonic is definitely the best of these three, and if you're gonna get a second one as a companion of the trio, then get Tails, because I think Tails looks... I think Tails looks really nice next to Sonic, but kind of a little strange by himself. I don't know, it's weird. So, um, so yeah, let me just get these guys out of the way, and then I'll give my final verdict on this plush. As he lies down. So, would I recommend classic Tails... 25th anniversary classic tales to be precise for $15 yeah I mean while he does have his problems he's still a very nice plush he has a lot of nice details I mean overall I just think this is a very nice high quality looking plush with a few odd design choices would I pay 70 or 80 dollars for 25th anniversary classic tales not a chance would I pay that much not only do I just not think the plush is worth that much, like, again, it has, it, def it has a few different problems that keep it from being truly great, P but if you really want a Tomy Classic Tales plush, then look no further than the Collector Series Classic Tales plush. And, well, we'll be comparing these two directly next time, so thank you all so much for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye bye